Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to today's video. We are talking desk organization, desk minimalism, paring down to the absolute essentials. I am setting up a new workspace for the new year and I got a new desk, so I am feeling very inspired to get this little corner of my house just right. If you're new here, my name is Carla and I make videos about decluttering, organizing, and simplifying your life. So make sure to click the subscribe button and that notification bell so we can work on these things together, making our homes and our lives Mwah! beautiful. But first, we gotta clean up this dirt. There is always dirt lurking on a windowsill or hiding in a corner. And that's what I love about these little projects. It's just a chance to clear the space, move some furniture and clean up these areas that quite frankly, I, I just don't clean. Who cleans their windowsills regularly? I'm sure there are some of you out there. I'm just not one of those people, but it sure feels good to get that little area clean and just to give this desk a nice wipe down. My old desk, if you've seen my previous desk declutter video, you know that my desk used to face the wall. And now that I have this new air conditioning unit, it's narrow, so it means I can actually push the desk up to the windowsill and look out the window. But for now, I'm just gonna Put it in this nook so i can walk you through this process okay now it's time to set up the desk with my essentials so these are the nine items if i could only have you know 10 things on a desert island number one my macbook pro 13 inch it is everything i run my whole business on here i just love this little machine and of course gotta have my charging cable next up is a wireless charger my niece wanted one for Christmas, so I got her one, and then I got one for myself too. And <laughs> I really like it. I could just plop my phone on there and charge. A notebook always is a must have on my desk. I go through them pretty quickly. And a planner. I have like 500 planners every year because I'm a crazy person and a planner addict. But this one is what I'll use for planning my YouTube videos and projects around the house. Pretty pens, pretty, pretty pens. I got some pretty pens uh, just for inspiration. Rifle Paper Company makes the most beautiful floral print pens and they are also who made my planner. I will make sure to link it in the description box. Blue light glasses. I wear these when I'm at the laptop because they're supposed to be good and protective for your eyes. I just got a cheap pair on Amazon. Desk lamp had to get a desk lamp because I loathe overhead lighting and this little lamp actually gives off quite a bit of brightness. Flowers at the desk to me means basically you're making money. If you've got fresh flowers at your desk, money is going to be rolling in. Now, what am I going to do with all this stuff? This is the stuff that was in my old desk. So my old desk was an Ikea unit that had two deep drawers so i was able to have a lot more stuff out but my new strategy is to have less on the desk less in the drawer and any other uh office type supplies or papers things that i don't need on a daily basis can be stored in my closet so right now i'm just creating micro categories and putting like objects with like objects and it might look like organized chaos but it all makes sense so okay here we have all of the categories a lot of these things are going to have to be rehoused but quite a few will also fit into the desk okay here's my cricket supplies what i did was i just took the um cords and put it in a Ziploc baggie. I'm gonna put this into my closet. It doesn't need to be out on my desk anymore. I'll just take it out for projects. Okay, this is just trash. These items are like empty boxes, empty inhaler. This here is a gift card. So I'm gonna put it with all my other gift cards. This is my passport. So I'm gonna put that there. Um, What is this cord for? Oh, I need this. It's for the lamp that I got for my desk. Charger cord, always need these um, notebooks tax information, books, those belong in the closet. Those also belong in the closet, mail, 
giant post-its, cards for birthdays, etc., magazines, more important papers, blank papers, highlighters, markers, pens, dry erase markers, cute card that my friend gave me that I'm gonna put up on a bulletin board. This is my laptop case for when I'm on the go. Um, and then I have my stamps. I've got money. I have an unfinished label that I need to do on a jar in my kitchen. So this is going into the kitchen. This is where I typically have my uh, pens. And over here I've got extra phone cases, my stapler, little like office supply things. These candles were from the holidays, so I'm pretty much done with those. I might put them where I have the rest of my candles, which is in my kitchen. Rock salt lamp. I'm figuring out what I'm gonna do with it. Discard this manual. I need to find a home for bobby pins and these little lip glosses. Just, I don't know how they end up over here, but I'm going to put them in the bathroom where they belong. This is my old engagement ring. I'm gonna have it turned into some jewelry um, that I'll actually wear. Okay, let's make it pretty. I bought a few of these Velcro strips to organize the cables for the desk, the lamp, the wireless charging station, my cords. I can't wait to live in a cordless society, but for now, these really help just keep the desk looking neat instead of having wires and cables all over the place. Now I am finding homes for anything that I won't be keeping at my desk area because I've already picked my essential items that I want to have out on the desktop. Everything else needs to fit into the one very slim drawer that comes with my desk. So in the process of organizing my home, I'm just realizing the importance of having or creating storage solutions. Because when you live in a small space and you don't have a lot of storage, you really have to get creative. But I'm just realizing that I don't need to have everything out on my desk or at my desk on a daily basis. I got a couple of these drawer organizers because I don't want things just rolling around loose on the inside of the drawer. And now I am just playing Tetris with the interior of the drawer and putting my pens, my markers, my post-it notes, my stapler, my scissors, my envelopes for things that I mail out, my extra wires and cables, all of that stuff. And I'd say it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Look at this office nook. I mean, doesn't it look inspiring? I'm very happy with it. And I have to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Flexi Spot, for making this beautiful desk. I am in love with the oak finish and the white frame. It's just sleek and modern and gorgeous. And not only that, but it's a standing desk. So when I get tired of sitting hunched over my laptop, hours on end, I get to push a button and the desk naturally elevates to a preset height that I've set it to. So it has this memory function where you can set your preferred heights and also has these USB ports. You can charge your phone, your earbuds, your iPad, whatever you need. I think if you're in the market for a desk, I'd say a standing desk is ideal because you get the best of both worlds. Sit, stand, you choose. And I feel physically better than sitting on my butt all day. It makes me feel less stressed and fatigued when I'm doing really long work days. I will put the link to my specific desk in the description box and it is the easiest desk in the world to set up. It took 10 minutes. If I can do it, you can do it. So thank you, FlexiSpot. Here's what I learned in setting up this new organized minimalist desk for myself. It's all about simplifying, 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 and really having just like those key essentials on my desktop and in my drawer. And all of those other things that I don't use in I'd say a one week cycle can be put out of sight. So that way I'm not managing and resetting it every day when I'm closing down my desk for the day. 
So I don't need the Cricut machine out on my desk. I don't need a rock salt lamp out on my desk. Even my printer is actually in my closet. So I like it. I like this very pared down approach to working from home. Let me know in the comments what your essentials are and what you think of my new desk setup. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.